Right now, the polls are close, about to close on the last early day of voting in the U.S. Senate runoff. Election day is Tuesday, December 6th. And no matter who wins here, look for some Georgia lawmakers to try and change the law this winter to eliminate the runoff. But an 11 Alive News poll shows voters like it, sort of. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live in Tucker with more. Yeah, you know, there have been two high profile, three of them really, uh, U.S. Senate runoffs, the one going on this fall, and then there were two others two Januaries ago. And some Georgia voters are telling me enough already with the runoffs. Because people don't have a lot of time to be coming back and forth to vote. Count Chip Williams among those who would have rather not come back to vote a second time in the U.S. Senate race. I think they should do it just one time and then let the uh, votes count and see who wins. But that would have settled the U.S. Senate race between Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock with a winner who got less than 50 percent of the vote. And that makes some Georgia voters uneasy. The fact that we have to do a runoff to make a, a determination I think is a good idea. So I'm happy to do it. An 11 Alive poll of likely runoff voters shows that half of them want the state to continue to hold runoff elections. 21% said the state should switch to ranked choice or approval voting, which lets folks cast multiple votes to get one candidate to a majority on the first try. 16% said they favor plurality voting, declaring the winner to whomever gets the most votes, even if it's less than 50%. Nearly every other state does that, according to the National Council of State Legislatures. 10% said they weren't sure about keeping the runoff. I'd rather the election be like where you select four. William Hill says he thinks Georgia should use ranked voting, which provides for an instant runoff if there's no majority for a candidate. Would you like them to change the law so that there is not a runoff? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I, one time I was leaning, you know, to do away with it. And it but Democratic State Representative Dewey McLean says he now sees value in having runoffs and in candidates earning a majority vote. It needs to be 50 percent plus one. So, you know, current Georgia law does allow ranked voting in an instant runoff for folks whose ballots are distributed overseas or to military personnel, and that may create a foot in the door for the legislature uh, if they decide to adopt that or some other system uh, as a substitute for the runoff system now. Live in Tucker, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.